Suing the school, the alleged closed-door debate sparking a lawsuit against some members of the Wentzville School Board. Lighting up the sky as overnight storms start to wind down. And this morning, showers and storms are wrapping up. We'll talk about the radar where the worst of the weather is now. Cutting down the workforce. What we're learning about the St. Louis-based company set to lay off 2,000 workers. A mega hiring fair set to start in just a matter of hours. The three companies eager to give you a job this morning. Most of the people I know are like, you're on the Rizzuto show, man. You made it. Wow. Meet the face behind the mic. I caught up with one of the Rizzuto show's newest members. Why you're about to see more of him later this evening. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. A bit of good news this morning. Strong thunderstorms are now leaving the St. Louis area, taking a live look at Lambert Airport. And you can also see the radar over there on the right hand side of the screen. And you might notice all those colors moving on off to the east and things are calming down in our area, at least for now. Yeah, but man, overnight, just a different story. Take a look. Some of the photos that you sent us from around the area. Look at those hail, like golf ball size mm -hmm. hail there. Uh, many in the Wensville area just saw that large hail covering the sidewalks and their yard. I'm hoping your patio furniture is okay this morning mm. as well. That's a joke, but good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, <laughs> September 27th. I'm Michelle Lee. Hopefully everyone's all right. Not, yes. Good morning. I'm really not. Paul Cook, of course, tracking all the current road conditions oh. out there, and we've had some issues already. <laughs> yes. yeah, 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 please. Yeah. Try to stay yeah, De-stressing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get over to Anthony Slaughter yeah. now, though, who's timing out the storm. So yeah. the good news, yes, yeah, showers are ending for us here in St. Louis, but an inch to two inches of rain yeah. fell, so that was some really decent rain. Uh, we really did need the rain because we are still in a drought, and of course, this time of year, you get some rain, you get a couple of cool mornings that really starts to get those colors to change on the leaves. And of course, naturally, they will change without that, but that kind of makes them a little bit more brilliant. As far as the rain goes, you can see it is wrapping up for St. Louis Metro. You still do have a few pockets of showers across parts of North County and right across Midtown back towards Valley Park, right along Baldwin, Manchester there. Uh, you go farther east into Warrington, Herman, Montgomery City. The showers have completely wrapped up for you there, but this is where the heaviest rain is on the Illinois side of the river. Really that 64 drive from Nashville to Mount Vernon, 57, even 70 from Effingham to Greenville. Heavy rain still coming down. So after this, the day ahead is dry. A mix of sun and clouds. It still will be warm. Temperatures will top out in the low 80s this afternoon. All right, let's say good morning to Paul and hopefully the roads aren't stressing you out this morning. Paul, what's going on? Well, you did a great job keeping us aware of what is happening out there. And right now you're thinking, OK, what am I going to face when I hit the roads? 17 miles an hour if you're going on 44. And we do have an accident at Antire that, oh, holy cow, is still there. That's because it's involving a semi. So go ahead and take, if you can, the alternate route of Graboid. That's the yellow arrow there. We also have another one in Illinois. So you do have an incident here. Uh, that's Antire over here. We're talking Antire over here. We are we're talking 64, 64 at 159, an accident. Other than that, it's a lot of green. We'll talk more traffic in just a few minutes. All right, thanks so much, Paul. Now, if you can, come take a look at this video that we shot just uh, probably about three hours ago. This is what it looked like in Belleville overnight. You could just see that heavy rain coming down, and the sky was pretty active with lightning. Actually, lightning and thunder woke me up this morning at about 1.30. Uh, this morning, we are just getting several photos sent in from viewers of last night's store. So I just want to zoom in a little bit. We've been talking about Wentzville a little bit, and you can see... <gasps> Patio furniture. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, lots of hail there. Golf ball size hail in Wentzville. And how about this? Icy September. This is Gray Summit, Missouri. Wow, that actually looks like snow, doesn't it? Just because it's just covering so much. Let's see if I can get one of these to play. This is a mound of hail. Wow, and lots and lots of rain. So, um, you know what? Storm to the left, moon to the right in Campsville, Illinois. Thank you so much for sending all of these great pictures and video in. Remember, you can get the latest weather first forecast anytime by texting that word weather to 314-425-5355. And you can also share your storm pictures and videos by texting them to the same number as long as you are in a safe spot to do so. 
New overnight, two people are in the hospital after being shot in North St. Louis. It happened just after 1015 on Interstate 70 near Salisbury. Police say a man and woman then drove to another location to call for help. A bullet grazed the man in the head and the woman was shot in her right leg. Both were taken to the hospital. Right now, the Missouri Attorney General is suing members of the Wentzville School Board. At the issue at hand is open meeting laws and discussion of a transgender bathroom policy. Alex Fies is live in Wentzville this morning with the whistleblower case pitting school board members against each other. Good morning, Alex. Michelle and Rennie, good morning. Missouri Attorney General Andrew Bailey is suing some members of the Wentzville School Board for unlawfully concealing transgender bathroom policy in closed meetings. That's something the attorney general says is a violation of the state's open meetings law. Now the AG says in sworn affidavits, two whistleblowers from the school board claimed when the transgender student bathroom usage policy was discussed in a closed meeting, they objected and said the discussion, discussion should be saved for a public meeting. But the conversation continued, they say, and allegedly included board members expressing their opinions on the bathroom policy and the role of government in students' lives. Also, how the board cannot even have the discussion in front of the community or parents, with one board member saying, quote, quite frankly, it's not the parents' business to know about the bathroom policy. Bailey says his office will enforce Missouri's open meeting statute to protect parental rights. Winsville School District um, has released a statement saying they've uh, not yet been served a copy of the lawsuit, adding, generally the district and the board do not comment on active litigation, but always take matters of this kind very seriously. The Board of Education has adopted policies that demonstrate its commitment to Missouri Sunshine Law compliance and strives to faithfully adhere to those policies and the law. Bailey says more than 40 community members have filed formal complaints with his office regarding this case. Live this morning in Wentzville, Alex Fees, five on your side. Thank you, Alex. This morning, the St. Louis based company is getting ready to lay off thousands of workers and those pink slips are going out next week. Our Sydney Stallworth joins us now live in Clayton. And Sydney, you say what you didn't know right now is which workers could be looking for a new job. Exactly, Rennie. What we know, we know at a wider scope, and we can confirm that Centene is laying off 2,000 workers nationwide, though. We don't know specifically where those workers will be impacted. That's about 3% of the company's workers, and it's a significant decision coming from a company that calls itself the largest Medicaid-managed care company in the country. Now, again, we're not sure exactly how this is going to impact our local workers, so we're going to continue to follow this to figure that out. The layoff notifications are set to start next week from October 2nd to October 5th. Centene says the job cuts come as it confronts, quote, headwinds from two federal government programs. A publication, Health Payer Specialist, reports that the company is dealing with issues related to Medicaid renewals and Medicare Advantage Star ratings, with the report citing confidential human resource documents. You know, the last day for, of work for the employees who will be laid off will be December 8th. They'll have 45 days to agree to a severance term and a severance package, and then they'll receive health care and other benefits through the date of December 31st of this year. In a statement, Centene says it'll support impacted employees with severance packages consistent with its, quote, standard approach, adding, quote, we are investing to deliver value for our customers now and into the future, both by leveraging our size and scale and by right-sizing our cost structure. We routinely assess our workforce to ensure we have the talent and expertise necessary to support our members and the evolving needs of our business. Now, in that statement, the company also added that this was not an easy decision to make. Centene does say that they will provide outplacement services to the 2,000 workers who will lose their jobs. Reporting live in Clayton, I'm Sydney Stallworth, five on your side. All right, thanks so much, Sydney. Okay, today there are several hiring events happening around the St. Louis area. We know that Deerberg's is looking to fill more than 200 positions in all 27 stores. The grocery store is hiring full and part-time employees. The hiring event is at the Doubletree Westport from 10 this morning to 6 at night. You will be interviewed right on site. 
Also, Spectrum is looking to hire sales representatives at its St. Ann Call Center. So if you're interested, Spectrum is hosting a job fair today at the Best Western Kirkwood Inn. You can stop by from 1.30 to 6.30 tonight. And if you're looking to make some cash before the holiday season, UPS wants to hire seasonal employees. It is looking to hire 1,800 employees across the St. Louis area. That's a lot. The delivery company says nearly 80% of all those open positions do not require an interview and only take 20 minutes to apply. Starting pay, by the way, $21 an hour, and you can also apply on UPS's website. All right, let's get to some rain totals here from overnight, and we had some really decent rain. St. Louis Lambert came in with over two inches of rain. Webster Groves, you were coming in next. Troy, Illinois, and Waterloo all over an inch and a half. Same with St. Charles and Warrington. And then the numbers fall off just a little bit. Even still, though, from Wildwood, Smithton into Tower Grove, you all received over an inch of rain. So this was great news for the lawns and, of course, the trees that are still stressed out from the heat and the drought over the last few months. Showers still coming on down for the Illinois side of the river, starting to wrap up on the Missouri side, so the totals won't move too much more. The dry weather expected here within the next hour. We'll take a peek at the weekend forecast that's coming up. Coming up, taking a stand, how the St. Louis Board of Aldermen is planning to help the homeless population. A Belleville grocery store suddenly closes. What caused Ruler Foods to shut down?